Why all of this love now, we ask? What was it that they saw in him that caused this obsession, dear brothers and sisters? What did they see? What did they hear? Allow me to explain some of what they saw. They saw in him a human being who was a perfect embodiment of all of the values that he called towards. He invited them to be good people, then they saw in him the best of them all. He commanded them to be brave. And so he was the bravest of all people. You look at his bravery, you would think that Allah had only sent him to rearrange the armies, to appoint the generals, to lead the warriors, to strengthen the hearts of the soldiers when they were weak. Al-Bara, he would say, whenever the intensity of war would become severe, we would hide behind the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the bravest companion would be the one who would be able to stand side by side with him on battle. Because he was advancing alayhi salatu wa sallam. He didn't fear death. He commanded them to be generous. They saw in him the most generous of Allah's creation, describing him like the wind that blows and scatters money. Spending on people as if he does not fear poverty. He was the king of his wealth, his wealth was not the king of him. His feet was not in his, his money was not in his heart, his money was beneath his feet. This is where we make a mistake, dear brothers and sisters. Money did not manipulate him, he manipulated his money where he sourced it from and how he invested it to use his money as a vehicle called to bring him to Jannah, he was the most generous of all people. You'd think that Allah had only sent him to spend on the poor and to pay the debts of those in need. He commanded the Muslims to be compassionate and gentle. You look at him alayhi salatu wasalam, and you would think Allah had sent him for no other purpose other than to pass a gentle caring hand over the head of the orphan and to support the widow and to give encouraging advice to those who are let down and to respond to the invitations of the downtrodden in society and to eat from their food even if it was about to go off he would not break their hearts and visit those who are handicapped and disabled you would think Allah had sent him for no other reason other than to be compassionate and kind he commanded his companions to be worshippers of Allah Jalla Jalalu. so what did they see in him? A marvel of a worshipper. A man who would fast continuously, pray at night continuously, till Allah Almighty would say to him, take it easy on yourself. A man whose feet would grow in size because of swelling and pain, whose skin would crack because of continuous salah. A man who would soak his beard and the soil beneath him and his clothes from his own tears. And his wives would be patting the bed patting the soil to see where the husband has gone and their hands would fall on his feet as he was bowing and prostrating to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu in the masjid they would say you are in one place and we are in another subhanallah worship of Allah a man who frequently looked into the heavens and frequently looked onto the earth he recognized the grandeur of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu a worship of Allah